In this paper, we we'll talk about a molecular interaction transformer for drug target interaction prediction. And this is a collaboration of uh, Ke Xing Huang, Danny Xiao, Lucas Glass, and myself, Jiming San. And this is a paper published at a Journal of Bioinformatics. So in this work, we focus on molecule and target interaction prediction. And it's an important part of uh, drug target interaction prediction. And let's first talk about a few uh, important concepts in this problem. The first one is a, a compound. So a compound is uh, represented as uh, this smile string. For example, uh, this particular uh, sequence of words over here. And then that corresponding to a molecule structure like this. And uh, the other important part of the uh, uh, input is a protein. So protein is uh, represented as a, a sequence of strings. In this case, there's uh, uh, amino acid sequences. And so that's uh, kind of represented as the string look like this. And the goal of a drug target interaction is to predict this molecule, whether it will bind with a particular protein. And a machine learning question uh, becomes given a drug's smell string, target amino acid sequences, uh, what is the predicted binding affinity score between these two uh, objects? And uh, if you look at this binding from a kind of real 3D uh, structure, this uh, molecule, which is the, the drug, it's actually much smaller than the protein, and it will interact at some particular position of the protein and, and just bind with that. So it's an intrinsically very local process, which means you may not need to know everything. If they're not binded in this particular location, they may not have a, kind of a lot of similarity there. So this local structure become very important for both the protein as well as the molecule. So what, what are the important applications of a drug target interaction? It can be used for virtual screening of uh, new drug candidates. So you can uh, screen the drug molecule, potentially drug molecules against various proteins and see if it will bind. And you can also uh, use this as a way to find a drug repurposing application. That is, you screen some existing drugs molecule you know it binds with some protein X for uh, treating certain disease, but then you want to see if uh, this particular molecule will bind with another protein Y, such that um, this is kind of off-target um, interaction, and that can lead to development of another drug's uh, indication for this existing molecule. So that's the task, drug-target interaction, and a deep learning framework for addressing this uh, problem goes uh, like this. We use, again, an encoding, uh, encoder-decoder framework. For encoder part, we have a drug encoder to encode the molecule into some vector. And then we have a target encoder that will encode this uh, amino acid sequence into another vector. Then we model interaction between these two embeddings and pass through a decoder uh, neural network to predict the binding score. So uh, there's in the previous method, um, I will talk about uh, in this uh, as a baseline for this work, they do not model the substructure uh, of this molecule. As we've shown you in the kind of the intuition of uh, drug target binding, right? maybe some local structure is very important for the binding action. So in this work, we want to model that uh, substructure, not necessarily the entire molecule itself. And similarly for the target as well, right, you don't need some kind of similarity for the entire target to be similar to the molecule. You just need some part of the, the target uh, to have a good binding affinity to the molecule. Another challenge is that there's very limited label data. However, there are vast amount of, uh, kind of literatures and uh, a molecule database, protein database, all kind of uh, 
public available database out there, they can be potentially used to learn the embeddings if we can leverage them. And the previous work, including uh, deep uh, DTA, deep DTI, and graph DTA, they are not designed to enable this uh, kind of integration with all this massive unlabeled data sets out there. So here is the architecture of uh, Mo Transformer or Mo Trans, and it has the, this different steps. Right? It have this um, initial inputs or drug as a smell stream and target as the amino acid sequence. Then we go through the substructure decomposition, find the initial embedding, and then pass through a transformer module to further enhance those embedding, then have uh, this interaction module that kind of uh, model the interaction of uh, substructure from the molecule and the substructures from the um, protein sequence. And finally, uh, this interaction uh, will be producing an output that will be used as a final decoder classification module. And we already mentioned right, the substructure decomposition is very important. And uh, in order to do that, what we did is we leverage all the molecules and protein sequences out there and to mine those data to find the frequent uh, subsequences in those uh, existing molecules and proteins and use them as our substructure uh, and so that's how we did the uh, substructure decomposition. An example of that is, right, this is kind of the uh, smile stream of a molecule. And then uh, going through the substructure decomposition, we will generate um, uh, all the substructure, where right, every line corresponding to some substructure that are frequently occur in uh, existing molecule database. So we, we just use that as a, a substructure that we should be modeled. And the same algorithm will be applied for this amino acid, amino acid sequences as well. And then we have all the substructure for both the uh, molecules as well as the uh, well, protein sequences. Then uh, the transformer uh, structures will give us a better embedding for the molecule and the target. And then finally, we have this interaction module. And in particular here, we not only uh, learning the interaction between the molecule substructure and the uh, protein substructure, we're also using uh, this uh, convolution neural network and to model this um, kind of a more larger scale of interaction um, of nearby regions. And finally, we unfold the output of the CNN into a vector, then pass through a, a, another neural network model to make the final prediction. Here's the performance of uh, mo trends and comparing to all this different baseline for three different data sets. And you can see that uh, all, in, in terms of various the performance metric, uh, ROC AUC, PRAUC, sensitivity and specificity. And, and so in, on average, mo trends have achieved up to 25% uh, improvement over the best performing baseline. And we also uh, compare to when we have a lot of missing data and uh, in this case, there is even better uh, relative improvement of uh, Motrans against uh, this most uh, competitive state-of-art method. So if you're interested in this work, please check out our paper and also try out the code. And this is the Motran Molecule Interaction Transformer for Drug Target Interaction Prediction. Thank you very much.